Hey guys, so today I'm doing a special kind of makeup video. I had some technical issues with it, so at the very beginning I was like really close to just stopping and then not doing it because I was getting so frustrated with the way it was coming out. But today I'm doing a music video inspired looks from Brooke Candy's music video for Happy Days. I've just been kind of like obsessed with this song. I just, I've been listening to it like every day for like the last like week and a half and I really like the makeup and it's very draggy. I wouldn't be surprised if the makeup artist was a drag queen. Anyway, so she has like three different looks in this video. Well, four technically, but it goes from very soft, simple, which is the one I had problems doing. And you'll see that I just kind of skipped through it because I don't like the way it looks on me. And then it goes into like this more intense, like winged and like big ass eyebrows. Then there's this third look where she's a lot more bronzed up. There's uh, pearls on her face. You'll see me do the first part and then do it into the second look and then do it into this third look. I only did the face part. I didn't do it in my neck, so that's why I look so yellow compared to my neck. I hope you guys had a good Valentine's Day. I got like the most awesome Valentine's Day gift. It's a painting of Harley Quinn. It's so dope. I love it. And I told them I'd make a video with him in it, uh, not him in it, but the painting in it. Um, it's gonna go in the empty space on my wall right there. So you can kind of see it in the background if I move my head. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, at least get some kind of entertaining value of my fuckery doing it. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to do a voiceover yet, but if I do, then you'll hear it. If you have any special requests, leave them in the comments below. Give me a thumbs up, like, share. Share it to Brooke Candy, see if she likes it. And someone give me the info on who did the makeup for that video, because it's really good. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. And that's me taking a selfie, because I forgot to use the snapshot button. Anyway, I'm back with this voiceover. I really hope that this works because I just tried to film this, not film this, what am I saying? Record this and it came out all muffled and weird. So hopefully this sounds a little bit better. Anyway, so into the makeup, uh, I've already done the foundation. I'm going in with highlight, Mayron paint stick foundation in white. Uh, the highlighting in this particular look is kind of minimal compared to how I usually do it. Um, but I was referencing the video next to me on the computer so you can see me side eyeing it the whole time. So I'm just doing like the basics, almost like basically like real girl makeup, just highlighting under the eyes, the cheekbones, the bridge of the nose, the forehead, uh, and then I do the chin. And then I just highlight a little bit of the upper lip just to bring it out a little bit more. And then with the contour, my Ben Nye HT foundation. Just kind of referencing how her cheekbones are shaped, um, even though I end up looking like myself always. Um, but in the first part of the video, she's not really like contoured or bronzed up as much as she is in the third, uh, the second and third look, she's more bronzed up. But this one is just basically just definition for uh, her bone structure and a little bit maybe a little bit of contour contour my forehead even though in the video she hides her forehead because she's wearing a wig um or her hair i'm not really sure what it looks like nowadays but um i just feel like it was kind of necessary because it would look weird if i didn't contour my head some minor nose bridge definition i'm gonna go in there later with the third look and make it even more defined but for now it's kind of soft using a white Again, to define where I'm going to have my lid crease shape, um, which ultimately ends up being changed towards the end. Uh, I make it a little bit bigger and more rounded at the end. Mapping out the brow, or what I thought was going to be the brow. <laughs> Setting it with a Cody asbestos <laughs> airspun loose powder. Um, I don't use that much again. Like I said recently, I, I only use what I feel is necessary. I don't like to overpack because I have an issue with like makeup flaking off and stuff when I use too much. And then I went in with my same fluffy brush and used my contour color to lightly, kind of softly add definition again. Um, a little bit of warmth to my cheeks, forehead, and jawline. And I'm just using a fluffy brush and really defining my inner corner crease because that's basically what the only thing she had on 
from her side view, you can see that she had makeup defining her inner corner, which is funny because in this video, I, looking back at it, I didn't really think it looked that bad, but in the moment I was so frustrated. I had no idea what I was doing and it didn't look like the video and I was getting frustrated. So I ended up just skipping through it towards the end, but I just kept this part because I feel like it looked okay. I'm just using some cool tone browns just to kind of really define, again, the inner corner. Because um, most of the definition is in the inner corner and then it fades and then there's a smoked out brown wing shape uh, in the outer corner where her lashes are. And I'm using a white shimmery pigment. Uh, the shimmer wasn't necessary, I don't think, but I liked it just because it added kind of like a freshness to it. Um, her face is very like dewy and clean and fresh in the first scene. Um, so I felt like bringing some light into my eyes would, would be good using the shimmery pigment. And also just to make it help stand out from the crease since it's not really harshly defined yet. And then starting off the brows, I kind of rushed through this one and the video because uh, I ultimately didn't like the way it looked and then I cut away you'll see when I'm just not feeling it at all <laughs> I cut away and that's when I end up bringing the lid area a lot higher um, and darkening the crease a little bit more and then I add contacts and lashes her lashes are a little bit more winged out and wispy in the first part but I don't have those so I just use a pair of the ones I had <laughs> and going into the second look um, it's actually my favorite of the three I'm just darkening the crease, like really adding definition as I usually would. The thing with this look, it's just kind of like a smoked out shape, so it's not really like a defined sharp crease like what I usually do. I'm using my mixture of foundation and highlight to kind of cover up the tail of the previous brow I had because her new brows in this scene are very big and blocky and straight. Um, so I wanted to kind of cover that up so I had an idea of what to work with. Just more feathering out. Um, it's a very like distinctive, almost like an S shape. I can't even really describe it, but like it goes uh, in a very particular shape on her eyes in the video. So I was trying my best to kind of recreate that. And I went in with the black eyeshadow and just kind of added some darkness to the outer corner and I uh, end up bringing it all the way under my eye. Um, and then also on my waterline, I add black also. But I keep going back and forth between the black and then the brown and then feathering them all out together. Um, there's no definite eye line that I could have seen in the video, but there's definitely a darkness to where her eyelashes are hidden. So they're not so obvious, even though they're huge, but it's like an overall smokiness, but there's still like a cat eye effect. So again with the black, I had brought the black down in my inner corner a little bit just to get that again the cat eye shape and elongate the eye. And then here's where I go in with uh, my foundation and reshape my new big blocky brows. They're very big. I think I actually made mine smaller than hers actually were, but for me it looked huge in the moment. They were almost like Matthew Anderson size, like those short blocky square brows. And then I go in with a darker color. I think I'm using an eyeshadow here and that's where I use to define um, like kind of like hair strokes to make it look more brow like. And I'm using a uh, highlight to redefine the tails and make them really sharp. I think even with me, I didn't even make them that sharp in the video. They're very square, very geometrical. Mine are a little bit more rounded, which I didn't really notice until after the fact. And now I'm using a shimmery white pigment, the same one that I use on my eyelids. I mixed it with some water in the cap, and I'm using it for my shimmery, silvery white lips that she has in the second scene. Adding more of my contour to make it a little bit more bronze, and that is the end of the second look.
now going in with the third look, um, which is a little bit tweaked of the second look. It's just more brown, more blush, darker brows, and then the pearls I add in later, <clears throat> which you'll see. So I'm just going in with a darker eyeshadow and just darkening up the brows a little bit. I can't tell if it was just the lighting difference in the video or not, but they look significantly darker in the third look compared to the second one. <laughs> So I'm basically just progressively darkening the crease. And then here's where I go in and then redefine the nose a little bit more. Not only thinning it, just kind of making it more sharper and straight. And here's where I go in with the bronze color again. She's super bronzed up in the third part of the video. And then I add a bunch of blush too. In the video, you can't really tell how pink it is, but in real life, it was like super pink, almost clowny pink. Um, but it looks kind of good on video. And then I use the same technique where I use a pigment, which is like a bright pink pigment with some shimmer in it. And then I used water and I made a paste out of it and I use it as a lip color. So she's like a really bright and like fuchsia pink lip in this part, but it still has a very glossy finish to it. I added some bottom lashes that are a little bit too big, but I don't care. <laughs> and I got some Hobby Lobby pearls in the craft section. Two in the middle and then three on the outer wing. And that's the end of the third look. And after the video, I have some pictures that are gonna come up. They're edited to make it look kind of how the lighting and the effects were during the video. The first one was a little more brighter and warm. The second look is more muted and cool tone, which is my favorite right there. I like that one the best. And then this one is just kind of normal, like very glowy and pink and bronze. And I hope you enjoyed the video. So I'll see you guys later. Bye.